massive earthquake today, magnitude 7.0 at the San Andreas Fault of the North, guys. What is going on? Of course, the culprit, Pacific Ring of Fire again. A powerful magnitude 7.0 earthquake struck this fault system, the San Andreas Fault of the North. The earthquake was centered 96 kilometers, roughly 75 miles northeast of Yakutat. That's an area that has roughly only 700 inhabitants and it struck directly on the Fairweather Fault near the Queen Charlotte system. So the Fairweather Fault is basically the northern segment of the monstrosity of Queen Charlotte Fault. And in this area, we've had already in the past hundreds of years dating back significant earthquakes. We had a magnitude 9.3 61 years ago in this same area. So this tells you what this is capable of. Thankfully, right now, no tsunami warning. The main rupture occurred on the Canadian side. So this is the border between Canada and Alaska. But the aftershocks are recorded on the Alaska side. So the shaking was so strong that it was felt as far south as Juneau and also the bordering regions of Canada. And after the main magnitude 7.0 event, we have strong aftershocks that followed, including earthquakes of magnitude 5.6 and 5.3, all occurring on the same fault zone. So at the moment, thankfully, no casualties or property damage have been reported but the location and the strength of this earthquake directly on such a fast moving tectonic boundary guys this tells us again how dangerous this area is the fairweather queen charlotte fault system and i want to talk about this fault a little bit so that you get a better understanding what we're dealing with here because this can extend into regions far more populated this fault moves so rapidly and produces large earthquakes it's one of the important fault zones for scientists to study earthquake hazards in alaska and in canada because research on this exact system helps scientists better to understand how these faults it's a transform fault behaves and how it builds up the strain and how large earthquakes are triggered along these fast moving plate boundaries so the Fairweather Fault is the northern segment of the Queen Charlotte Fairweather Fault system. You see it here on the map behind me. It's a major fast moving right lateral strike slip fault. That's why they call it the San Andreas Fault of the North because that is comparable. We've had an earthquake like this in Myanmar. I showed you the video where really the ground moves. If you were standing here and your friends here, this is what happened with the shift. It marks the boundary, this fault here, between the North American plate and the Pacific plate, Pacific Ring of Fire, in Southeast Alaska and British Columbia, Canada. And it has this horizontal motion. That's what makes it similar to the San Andreas Fault. It's a transform fault, meaning the plates slide past each other, not underneath each other, like one of the many subduction zones that we see along the Pacific Ring of Fire. So they're horizontally sliding rather than pulling apart or colliding. The motion is right lateral. That means if you stand on one side of the fault and you look across, the land of the opposite side appears to move to the right. So the Fairweather Queen Charlotte fault system is a crucial tectonic boundary along the western coast of this exact region there. It marks the northern end of the Queen Charlotte fault system and this boundary basically separates the North American plate from the Yakutat block, which is a small micro plate that is located at the hinge of Alaska. And this fault system, unfortunately, is extremely active. It has one of the highest slip rates in North America. It's moving at more than two inches per year. And because of this fast movement, it produces frequent and sometimes often, I have to say, not sometimes, often very powerful earthquakes. One of the most famous example in recent time is also the 1958 magnitude 7.8 earthquake that has triggered 
a massive landslide and a mega tsunami in Letuya Bay. We all remember that, even if we were not alive, because we're freaks. We love to hear about this stuff. I've reported about this in the past. So we will have to see how many more aftershocks we're getting out of this earthquake. I hope you liked it. Guys, if you're interested in the Pacific Ring of Fire, I'll put a video in the end screen. If you're interested in the Cascadia Fault, there's new concerning scientific evidence that the Cascadia Fault has entered a new stage of activity, which is very, very concerning. Check out the videos in the end screen. And if you want to know what's coming from above, Three Eye Atlas also in the end screen. Like, hype and subscribe this video, please. No, not subscribe this video. Subscribe to the channel, but hype and like this video. And I see you in a second if you click one of these videos. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.